dear students i welcome you all to the explanation of any woman poem part 2 so in this video we will cover the remaining four stanzas from the poem any woman which is written by katherine tynan so in the previous video we understood some information about katherine tynan and then two stanzas the first two stanzas from the poem any woman and we understood the importance of mother in each and everybody's family and in this class in this video let us uh, deal with the remaining four stanzas and let us try to understand what the poet has written in the poem any woman let us go to the fourth stanza let me read out and then read out the lines and then i will explain at me the children warm their hands i am their light of love alive without me cold the hearthstone stands nor could the precious children thrive so i told you already that here in this poem the rhyme scheme a b a b is followed except in the first stanza here in this uh, stanza also we see a b a b rhyme scheme hands stands alive thrive so let us understand what the poet has written in this particular stanza at me the children warm their hands at me means we have seen already that at mother the children warm their hands what is warming hands let us try to understand so warming hands happens during a winter time especially so let me show you the image of that so here we see we warm our hands like this so children also warm their hands at mother so especially during the cold times during the winter season so this warming hands is uh, gives us it gives us you know much comfort and it gives us warmth and it gives us somewhat uh, relief from the cold of weather so here mother is like the fire so we have seen already so mother is like fire and children warm their hands at mother so what does it mean it means that mother is the source of happiness when the children are sad and she is the hope in despair and children feel comforted and consoled in the difficult times at mother only so at mother only children feels comfortable and consoled during the difficult times like uh, you know the cold weather so during uh, those difficult times and when the children are sad so when they go to mother she is the source of happiness and she is the hope in the times of despair and uh, children's 
difficulty time so this is what the meaning is the meaning of the first line in the stanza next let us go to the next line i am their light of love alive i am their light of life uh, love alive light of love alive so what is the meaning of light of love as light spreads to any part of the house so you know that uh, light uh, when you put on the light it spreads to each and every part of the house likewise mother's love also spreads to all family members alike and the same so mother's love also spreads to all people in the family everybody in the family alike and same and mother's love you know it it is unconditional love and it is sacrificial love and uh, she uh, she sacrifices her whole life and uh, her own time and her energy so for the sake of the family members so she is the source or the light of love alive you know that uh, you know mother's love is unconditional love she loves the children she loves the family members unconditionally and she tries to sacrifice for them and everybody uh in the whole world also can learn love how to love practically the other people we can learn from mother and she is the teacher or she teaches how to love others unconditionally and she is the definition for true love and so she is the light of love which is alive or who is alive and so first of all children warm their hands at her to get happiness in uh, difficult times and uh, she is the source of light or the light of love alive and then let us go to the next line without me cold the hearth stone stands nor could the precious children thrive hearth stone means i told you already what is hearth stove poi so hearth stone means coal coal in the stove or the hearth it is called as hearth stone without me without mother the hearth stone or coal stands cold it is cold that means if there is no fire if there is no mother what happens is that you know the family members hearth stone here means we can understand that uh, one of the family members so each and every family member without the mother they are lifeless they are with they don't have life and uh, they don't have future if they don't have mother or if there is no mother there is no life and there is no future so cold is the symbol for you know having no life and so without the mother there is no life and uh, no proper future for the family members especially children so this is what this line means next nor could the speci- precious children thrive nor could the precious children thrive so if there is no mother what happens is that you know good children or precious children 
also cannot grow they they also cannot grow they also cannot develop in the families so how does the precious children grow thrive thrive means grow so how does the precious children and uh, good children you can find in the family only because of the mother if there is no mother and if the mother is not taking care of the children what happens is that uh, you don't find the precious children or you don't find the good children so she teaches what is good and what is bad for the children from the childhood itself and so here one more meaning we can find that without mother the, there is no success for the children so success depends on mother for the children in the families and so this is what is the meaning of uh, this particular line so uh, what you need to understand here is that you know uh, in this whole stanza the poet says and talks that children depending on mother for happiness and for love and for their success mother is the source and the key person in the family this is what you know the poet says in this particular stanza next let us go to the next stanza look at the first line i am the twist that holds together the children in its sacred ring they are not of love from whose close tether no lost child goes a wandering yes i am the twist that holds together the children in its sacred ring yes if you see a rope or a thread so look at this one so if you take two threads so uh, there is what you call as a twist here telugu melika so if there is no twist what happens is those two threads are different and uh, those two threads cannot be made into one that means that this twist holds two threads together and makes two threads into one so what does it mean here it means that in the stanza that you know mother sees that there are no disputes and there are no what you call uh there are no problems or there are no misunderstandings in the family and especially among the children so in order to solve the disputes and the misunderstandings and uh, uh, not to have unity in the family so she is the source of solution for all these problems like you know having no unity in the family so she is the source to solve all these problems in the family and so she keeps the children united and she makes the children you know to be one in the family next let us go to the next line the children in its sacred ring so already mother or the poet said that i am the twist that holds together the children in its sacred ring so uh, she keeps all the children together and uh, uh, to be united 
in the sacred ring so ring ring means it is a symbol for unity or bond or alliance so uh, especially this ring is used uh, you know during uh, uh, marriages and uh, engagement uh, such things because you know this ring is a symbol for two people becoming one uh, husband and wife becoming one and so here uh the poet used uh, this image that is a sacred ring because as uh, you know two people become one so here mother is also the you know source of unity in the family so uh, in the family life and then they are not of love from whose close tether next no lost child goes a wandering so let us see let us understand they are not of love so uh, for the animals if you see that you know uh, the animals not to go astray or not to get deviated from the owner and uh, from the remaining animals what happens is that you know Uh, there is the knot which is tied to the neck of those animals so not to fall in danger you know the owner takes care of uh, these animals by you know uh, tying them with a thread and uh, knotting them with the you know uh, rope or a thread so uh, likewise mother uses the knot of love knot of love so that you know the child does not go wrong and uh, does not uh, go wandering and uh, the child uh, either boy or girl you know uh, does not go uh, from a good path or the righteous path or a proper path proper life so uh, here you know the poet says that uh, you know with her not of love with her love she will see that uh, no child uh, goes astray and deviates uh, from the right path or the good path which is you know uh, necessary for uh, all the people to survive and so here she is the uh, source of unity so she keeps the all the family members to be united and so in this particular stanza the poet says that uh, you know she is a key person to hold the family members together and uh, making them into one uh, not having any disputes in the family and uh, she uh, with her love she tries to uh, what you call keep all the children in the right path and uh, uh, she sees that uh, no child uh, uh, goes wandering and uh, deviates from the right path so this is what is there in this uh, uh, stanza and next let us go to the next stanza i am the house from floor to roof i deck the walls the board i spread i spring i spin the curtains warp and woof and shake the down to be their bed i am the house so here uh, the poet says i already told you house here in this uh, particular poem is a central metaphor because the poet uh, keeps on saying that uh, you know by using the metaphor or the image of house uh she says that uh, you know i am uh, the house and i am uh, this and that in the house and so here she is saying that i am the house from floor to roof that means from the floor to roof we can understand that uh, you know there are walls there are windows and uh, uh, there is the base and uh, uh, all these things she the poet says that uh, as the mother she is everything in the house everything she is the whole and soul for family and she is uh, very necessary for family so she is everything in the family so this is what uh, 
you know this line means next uh, i deck the walls so here in these three lines next three lines so these three lines you know the poet uh, gives uh, some information about uh, what is the hard work of mother or the works of mother in the house so let us see i deck the walls so mother decorates the walls deck means decorate the walls so uh, you know that you know mother keeps the floor and keeps the house and keeps all the walls clean every day and every time so she takes care of uh, you know the floor and uh, walls and the house very much next the board i spread next mother you know spreads the board board means table table here means dining table like thing we need to understand so what does it mean mother prepares the food and mother makes the you know uh, dining table ready with all the you know different favorite food items uh, for the family members and so for that she toils hard and she uh, works hard and uh, she stays you know for a long time in the hot kitchen so she makes ready the board or the table next i spin the curtains next we need to understand that you know it talks about uh, curtains or clothes we need to understand here so she takes care of all the cloth items also i mean she stitches the clothes and uh, she stitches the curtains and uh, uh, she washes the blankets we can understand and she washes clothes so which is very very difficult and uh, she spins the curtains warp and woof that means uh, warp means you know it is the vertical thread while spinning the curtains it is the vertical thread and woof means it is the horizontal thread and so that means uh, you know uh, in order to take care of the clothes uh, from this side to that side in the whole house she takes care of everything uh, you know uh, about the clothes uh, which are here and there everywhere you know in the house so this is what uh, uh, this line means next and shake the down to be their bed so here this particular line means that you know the poet compared herself with the mother bird mother mother bird so as the mother bird builds nest so the living place for the uh, children birds so uh, mother bird builds nest and uh, feeds babies you know it and uh, uh, she makes bed with her own soft feathers for the babies and so like a mother bird prepares a bed for you know the children uh, or the baby birds so likewise here also the poet says that you know i uh, make the family members comfortable so in order to make the family happy and in order to make the family members uh, to take rest so she troubles herself and she allows hardships and she allows problems uh, into her own life and in order to make the children comfortable so she uh, goes into uncomfortability she allows uncomfortability and she allows uh, uh, many troubles and uh, uh, many problems in her own life and so she shakes down uh, to be their bed so like a, a mother bird prepares bed for the children so here also uh, mother you know um, prepares uh, comfortability for the children and uh, mother keeps the all the family members happy so this is what uh, uh, this particular line means next last stanza i am their wall against all danger next their door against uh, the wind and snow 
thou whom a woman laid in a manger next take me not till the children grow yes i am their wall against all danger so here in this uh, sixth stanza the poet says that i am their wall against all danger wall why the walls are built for the house and why the walls are built for kingdom why there are forts for kingdom because they are built for safety and not to allow any enemy or any beast to get into the house or to get into their kingdom these walls are built and so here mother is like wall and she is the protector from all types of dangers and threats especially for girls children girl children and not only girl children but also boys so she is the protector so from childhood until they are grown until they are settled until they take care themselves so until then mother is the protector and mother is the wall against all dangers all dangers so when they get uh, health problems you know uh, she takes care of them so when they get uh, any uh, uh, dangers in the life uh, she takes care of them so mother is the wall against all types of dangers next their door against the wind and snow so she is the door against wind and snow so uh, here also the same meaning we can apply so she protects her children from all the evils wind and snow here means uh, we can understand here these are the evils evils of the society or the threats from the society so uh, she is like the door standing you know not to allow any evils and not to allow any threats uh, from the society and uh, uh, she keeps uh, uh, the children safe from all those threats and uh, uh, not to allow all these evil things which uh, what you call spoil or which make the children uh spoiled so from all those types of uh, threats and uh, dangers so she stands as a door um, which stops you know not to uh, enter uh, into the family and into the children so this is what here uh, the second line means next thou whom a woman laid in a manger take me not till the children grow so thou whom a woman laid in a manger here you know uh, we need to understand here that uh, the poet is talking to jesus christ and so uh, what does the poet say the poet is uh, talking to jesus christ as uh, he was also born to a mother uh, mother mary in a manger 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 means it is the place you know where uh, the animals are kept uh, you know their food so uh, in that manger this uh, mother uh, sorry uh, jesus christ was born to mother and so you know she is talking to the uh, jesus christ saying that uh, jesus you know uh, everything about the uh, love and everything about the value of mother and the hard work of mother and the love of mother and uh, uh, so what is the role of mother you know because you were also born to mother mary and uh, uh, so you know everything about the value of mothers and so uh, finally she says that take me not till the children grow so don't take me take my life and uh, don't allow me to die uh, until my children grow so here it is the last line is the ultimate love uh, of mother we can see here in the last line of the stanza so don't take my life until the children grow until the children become successful so uh, until 
you know uh, my children become grown and she is worried here you know if i die earlier what happens to my children and uh, how do they survive and how do they become successful so uh, this is what uh, is uh, ultimate love of mother uh, even uh, not only the poet you know even each and every mother also uh, thinks like this only so until my children become successful and grow i must not you know die so i must be helpful to them i must be everything for them and uh, i must show love and i must help uh, as much as you know i, I can uh, it, uh, as much uh, uh, as it is possible as much as i can do so she thinks like that so uh, this is what uh, is uh, you know uh, this particular stanza means so this stanza and this stanza we can understand that mother is the wall and mother is the door against all the dangers and against all the evils from the society and then uh, here the poet uh, uh, prays to god saying that uh, uh, god uh, you know uh, what is the uh, you know the importance and value of a mother and uh, uh, how much hard work the mother does in the family and so i am praying to you uh, saying that uh, don't take my life uh, um, before my children become successful so this is what here in this particular stanza the poet says so let me uh, just uh, uh, tell you the uh, you know the summary uh, in brief saying that yes as the mother is the source of uh, happiness and she is the source of love and uh, she is the source of knowledge we have seen all these in the previous stanzas and in the whole poem so she is the source of happiness and she is the source of love and she is the source of knowledge and she is the source of unity in the family and she is the source of uh, success for the children and she is the source of uh, good values and she is the source of hard work and she is the source of protection so uh, she is the source of everything in the family so we have seen all that and how much hard work she does uh, to keep the family safe this is what we have seen so from all these why the poet has written all these means only in order to make the family members known about the value of the mother or a woman and so why she has written is that in order to make the family members to respect mothers and to you know respect women in the family as women lack respect and women are not respected in the family so the poet here urges us and gives the information to us why the women have to be respected why the mothers have to be respected in the family so uh, here the poet has given many uh, things and uh, talked from many angles and gave many aspects why the mother has to be respected in the family and so uh, uh, all of us must uh, uh, take a decision uh, today uh, to start respecting mother and uh, uh to show love towards mother as mother uh, as we get much love towards mother we also have to show love towards our uh, mothers so this is what here uh, we can find in this particular uh, poem and next uh, let me give you some analysis and in 5 uh, minutes i'll just close this video so some analysis of the poem so as i told you earlier that uh, the whole poem is uh, you know uh, with the uh, uh what do you call uh, the stanzas are with a b a b rhyme scheme except the first stanza that is what we have seen and i told you already that uh, you know um, this particular uh, writer katherine tynan is uh, you know uh, uh, writes uh, used to write uh, the support uh, as a supporter of uh, feminist causes and so this particular poem is also in support of uh, this feminist cause that is uh, you know uh, mother is lacking uh, respect and so 
she has to be respected so it is a feminist uh, text we can understand and then um, metaphors many metaphors are used so mother uh, or the poet says i am this i am that i am this and i am that so she gave many number of images many number of images for uh, for example she says that i am the pillars of the house i am the keystone of the arch i am the fire upon the hearth and i am the light of the good sun and so on she has given many number of metaphors so um, she said i am this and i am that and so lot many metaphors are used uh, here in this particular uh, poem and then there is anaphora anaphora is a figure of speech or or a literary device so what does it mean it means that a repetition of a word or a phrase at the starting of successive lines so here in this particular poem yes look at the screen once so uh, if you screen uh, if you look at the screen uh, you can understand uh, there are some repetition of some phrases and words in the whole poem uh, in the successive lines so here it is i am look at that next in the second stanza also i am and then there is one more i am and then the third line in the second stanza i am and then if you go to the fourth stanza second line i am it is here and fifth stanza the first line i am and then uh, sorry fourth stanza first line i am and then if you go to the next stanza i am i am the house i am it is there and then fifth uh, sorry last stanza i am their wall against all danger i am so uh, the phrase i am is used many times in the successive lines so this is only called as anaphora repetition of words or phrases at the starting of successive lines and so here it is anaphora it is you know used anaphora is used here and so this is what is you know the uh, information or the summary or the uh, explanation of uh, this particular poem any woman by katherine tynan and so uh, just remember the value of the mother and start respecting mother from today and then you know uh, once uh, just remember you know the uh, important uh, uh, things what katherine tynan talked about uh, mother and uh, who is mother and what is the role of mother in the uh, family so if you remember that uh, so that uh, you can understand uh, annotations as well as questions also well from this particular poem any woman and then uh if you read the annotations and questions it will be very easy for you to understand uh if you watch the video uh, and uh, listen to the explanation so that it would be very easy for you to write the annotations and questions also and so that uh, you can get good marks so this is uh the poem any woman and then in the next video let us uh, you know deal with the next lesson so with this i'll stop the video And so, uh, goodbye.